using sliders in geometry. So we'll open the geometry app and if you haven't already tap file new to clear the work service. Now let's just pop in a triangle to explore what sliders can do for us in geometry. Uh, the first thing is we can either uh, we can choose an angle. So here we go. I've selected um, angle A by choosing B A and B C. And if I tap on to draw slider, I'll choose the angle slider. And uh, at the moment, it's measured the angle to be forty six point nine. And as I tap on the slider here, then it's toggling backwards and forwards. Um, and increasing or decreasing the angle down to a minimum of 40 and now it's incrementing it in steps of 10 degrees. Uh, I can also tap onto the options here uh, and choose the settings. So if I wanted it to go from something other than 40 to 100 in steps of 10 degrees, I could let's maybe change that to 50 degrees to 80 degrees in steps of five degrees okay and then when we choose the uh, auto place settings then class pad adjusts the angle in steps of five degrees from 50 to 80. so um there's one now let's um stop that so we'll tap onto escape here and uh tap on the cross to remove the slider um, now that's one thing we can do with the slider. I'm just going to center the triangle by tapping on equals and select this side here. In fact, I might even zoom out once. And I've got the uh, side selected here and now I'm going to add a slider just to a length. And you can see the only option here is for a length. And again, the slider works in the same way. Um, as I tap onto these, um, it reaches its maximum of 10 and it's saying it will be a minimum of 1 and if I chose the auto play um, Here it goes. It's going to modify that length, but you'll notice C's um, moving uh, In the direction of the line that it was originally so it's keeping AC parallel to itself all the time and I'll tap clear to stop the auto play uh, from running there so we can choose an angle we can choose a length and the other thing uh, we can attach sliders to is the radius of a circle or an arc so let's um, start again with a file new and we'll choose a circle here we go I'll tap once for the center once for the radius and um, if I now go back and choose the select tool and tap on to the circle to select it tap on to draw slider the only option now is the radius and again let's go straight to an auto play here to see um, the radius of our circle changing from one to five and again we could tap onto the settings uh, well, when it's stopped uh, here we go file settings and we could change the radius min and max to whatever we choose on that one um, now the last thing that we can do is actually sort of take a point so we can change the distance between a couple of points so uh, I'll tidy everything up again here and let's take a triangle down here and maybe uh, I'll use the point tool to put a point up over here and if I get the select tool and choose point D and choose point B then I can uh, put use a slider to adjust this distance draw slider length and again if I just go straight to auto play you'll see um, how this can animate um, the point and here, here it goes it's coming in I'll maybe move the slider in a second and so it's moving it in this kind of direction so that the distance varies from 1 to 10 and um, I'll tap on escape to stop the slider there uh, but we also lost the slider in the process. Anyway, I hope that's going to give you a few ideas how to use sliders in John.